In this video, you will learn how you can monitor the ALM Octane server components out of the box and we will show you a configuration um, which will help you to monitor the heap size consumption of the Java virtual machine attached to ALM Octane using the Java uh, Visual VM. So let's go first into the site administration to see how the servers are currently looking. So here you can see I'm currently in the site administration under the tab servers. And it's a very simple installation. I have one uh, application server, I have a database server, and here I can see basically the um, address of my uh, server. It's one cluster, one node, and um, also the status, they are accessible, healthy. So far, so good. I have here also some configuration around log files. And um, now there is a um, matrix provided um, with ALM Octane. You can uh, further drill down to see how the uh, different memory is used for Octane. So if you go to um, your Octane server name port and after the port you just write slash matrix, it will come up with this page. So it's currently pure text uh, KPIs. You can always refresh. So those numbers get refreshed. However, you have here um, the area Java memory used and um, for area heap and Java memory used for area non heap. So here you can see this is the current consumption of my um, Java heap and I can also see here what is the committed area for, for the heap and um, what is the committed for non heap. Um, I can see it directly here. So this is exactly what uh, Octane is going to um, reserve uh, when the service is started. So basically you say if you have um, on the server 8 uh, gig uh, gigabytes for um, memory RAM, then you assign the half of it to the Java virtual machine of Octane. So your heap size would be 4 GB. If you have um, 16 GB, you can, the best practice would be to assign 8 GB. If you have 32 GB, go for 16 GB. And Octane will handle all the memory consumption um, and how to configure itself. So, and if you want to see if the garbage collection is working, you just need to scroll down. So here you can see we are basically using the G1 GC uh, collector um, where the young generation and old generation is measured and always the survivor space is uh, moved um, across uh, the old generation so you will see here if this is working so currently i have started my service so the old generation has not been populated i can refresh so currently it's uh, nothing going on on my server so this is fine um, and now let's see how you can this is one option to view the matrix on alm Optin. the other option would be to use standard capabilities of java visual vm yeah, so let's take a look how you can consume those. You go to um, the Octane wrapper and here you will find a wrapper conf. Just open it and look for JMX. So here you can see I have already its line number uh, 51. So what I will do, I will leave this port as standard, uncomment the three lines so no authentication no ssl um, press save so these three lines uh, line 52 to 54 need to be uncommented one is for the port definition authentication required and ssl so you set these accordingly and then you save it and now what you have to do you have to restart the octane service yeah? so 
let's see how this works so basically it will appear here if you go to your java jdk and you have here your visual vm currently you will see there is no else nothing else than the visual vm itself where i can look how the consumption is and monitor things but i would like to monitor the octane uh, java uh, process here so let's shut it down and restart octane so i will now restart octane and wait until this is up and running so i can see uh, my octane service has been restarted so the servers are available let's go now into my uh, server site um, and open the visual um, VM now and it should show me the octane service well, let me I have to connect now first to the service so let's add a JMX configuration I'll need to provide here the host name and the port 9601 and so this is the then I'm Octane JVM. Okay, and now you can see we have added it. And you can now see exactly what's going on. So you have here all the configuration parameters. The service has uh, been started. You have here the system properties of this service, what Java is being used, um, and so on. And then you have here the monitor. Where you can see how the service is consuming what is the maximum size of the heap what is the current uh, currently used size of the heap um, in order you need to provide any kind of uh, dumps to uh, the support team you can do it from here so it's very easy to generate you have also here some threads um, which are opened and working by Elastic, by Octane. Um, you will see it here. Um, and also the sampler for uh, the CPU and memory, and just in order to demonstrate what it shows. So here you can see uh, the heap histogram by classes and uh, by the different threads. is coming up here with the different thread names. And you will find those also in the wrapper log um, if there are different uh, transaction threads um, you will find these also available in the wrapper log but this is a way to monitor the octane service itself to, so the java virtual machine and um, also see if the garbage collector is working and uh, performing as it should uh,